Well, there's a pretty exciting opening to the Welsh National Food Exhibition. And the Welsh National Food Exhibition showed their appreciation of the public by giving away 90, 90 magnificent food hampers, every hour on the hour, rather like musical chairs. If the music stops, some lucky person receives a hamper. Hmm, I think she likes it, I think she likes it. I'm not surprised. Well, look here, let's have a few words with Trevor Davy, who's responsible for making this exhibition such a success. Hello, Hello, Trevor. How nice Philip. to see you again. I see, you know, this exhibition here looks like being even better than ever. I agree with you, Philip. And we've had most of the exhibition gangways especially widened this year to uh -huh. accommodate the crowds. Uh -huh. Last year we had a lot of lost children, husbands and wives. Mm. So by increasing the gangways we should have no more trouble in that direction. And just look what we have to offer. Foods from overseas countries, any amount of free food samples and special bargain offers. Well, you know, after all, most housewives are interested in food and new recipes and so on, aren't they? Yes, I agree with you. And I can see myself going round the stands sampling many new dishes. And incidentally, before I leave you to go round the stands with Mr. Philip Harbin, I should like to remind you to come along to the Welsh National Food Exhibition, Sophia Gardens, Cardiff, if you wish to win a free food hamper. I'm sure you will all enjoy your visit. I'm on a stand now where they're showing a product which is the basis of so much good cooking. Kilvert's Pastry Lard. It's not an ordinary lard, but an entirely new product. It's guaranteed absolutely pure, and it's super refined, which means it's made specially for pastry. Now, as you know, top chefs the world over always know that the best pure lard makes really fine pastry. And Kilbert's pastry lard makes it so, so much lighter. Normal proportions, you know, half a pound of flour, quarter a pound of lard. Anyway, it, it, it's all here on the packet. And real lard, you know, has a real taste. And that makes all the difference. And now look, see what they've got in the oven here. And just look at that. It's perfection. And that's what pastry made with Kilbert's pastry lard looks like. That's pastry perfection. Well, now it's time to leave this wonderful stand with its many uses for lard in the kitchen. Now I want to show you how to preserve and enhance the flavour of chicken and meat in cooking. Oh, yes, I think by now most housewives have learned the advantages of cooking this way. Yes, indeed, polyfoil wrap has innumerable uses. For instance, if you wrap your joint in it like this, it saves fat from splashing all over the oven and saves you one of the worst jobs in the kitchen, oven cleaning. And look at this. Look, a jacket potato sliced in three, cheese inserted, the whole thing wrapped up tight in polyfoil wrap, baked. It's marvellous. And you can't do that without polyfoil. And it's a, it's a wonderful material for keeping food fresh, too. I mean, think of all the famous food makers who wrap their food in foil to keep it safe and fresh. And if you wrap your foods in polyfoil wrap before you put them in the fridge, it will save space and they'll stay fresher for longer. Now, polyfoil wrap comes in rolls at 2 and 3 and 2 and 11. Oh, and look here. Polyfoil dishes for baking and serving in three different sizes at two shillings a pack. Now, I'm afraid you won't find polyfoil in this exhibition, but various stores sell it, hardware stores, grocers, stationers, department stores and so on, they all stock it. I'd just like to tell you about another product which is not in this exhibition, but one which is a real friend to people who have to worry about their weight. Energen Foods have introduced a new aid to slimming diets called Terms. Now, Terms have an extremely low starch content, 48% compared with bread, which has 74%. Terms are starch reduced. So, eat them instead of sugary, starchy foods to help keep your weight down. <laughs> I'm a fine one to talk, but it's true. Serve terms with salads, clear soup, cheese, fruit, and for marvellous canapes. A box of 12 costs one and ninepence at grocers, bakers, chemists, and health food stores. Well, here's a familiar sight, and no prizes for guessing whose stand this is. HP sauce, of course. Did you know that more HP sauce is bought than any other in the world? Well, now, HP are showing their delicious products with an associate company, Leon Perrins, famous all the world over for Worcestershire sauce. And they're making a special bargain offer for the whole of the exhibition. Here it is. May I please, Jim? Thank you, Jim. Look, four delightful miniatures, all for one and three. HP sauce, HP tomato ketchup, 
HP baked beans and tomato sauce and H Leon Perrin's Worcester sauce. By the way, when you get your special pack, don't forget to ask for one of the children's novelties, like this free make-it-yourself boomerang. Did you know that several famous sauces, like Mary Rose sauce, for instance, can't be made without the addition of Leon Perrin's Worcestershire sauce? Well, here's your chance to try it yourself and enjoy the famous HP tomato ketchup and their big beans and tomato sauce, one on three the lot. Tell me, are you one of those people who like rice as a main dish? Or do you think of it only for pudding? Because if you do, I think you'll be surprised at the number of different rice main dishes you can make. Now, Lillian here tells people about the many correct ways of cooking American rice. Now, first and foremost, American rice is of uniformly high quality. Secondly, it's untouched by hand, and that makes it not necessary to wash it, and that makes it possible to cook it by the one-two-one one method, which is so simple, isn't it, Lillian? It certainly is. It's one cup of rice to two cups of water. and one teaspoonful of salt. Then you just bring it to the boil, stirring a couple of times, and let it simmer for about 14 minutes. But come and try it for yourself. And here's a quick and attractive dish any housewife can serve for her family. Rice hearts, either in one large mold or individual molds. But for a party, what could look and taste more attractive than this chicken rice dish with all the accessories? I must say, some of these American rice dishes look pretty luscious. If you'd like to write to me, I'll send you some free recipe leaflets, including a wonderful one of Jewish recipes, all made from American rice. So remember, don't just ask for rice, ask for American rice. Well, now, let's leave America and that wonderful gift it has to offer in the form of that cereal, which is so remarkably versatile, and come back to home ground. Now, I've got something rather remarkable to show you. Mind you, I'm pretty hard-boiled and cynical where food products are concerned, but this, this really shook me to the core when I discovered it. These are Sutherland's wonderful shilling range of sandwich spreads. The flavour of each of their varieties is absolutely true and pure. Nothing but the basic food goes into any of their spreads. I mean, no flour, no extender, you know, anything which might stretch the flavour and so weaken it. Take their potted beef with butter, for instance. Nothing, literally nothing, but good beef, carefully cooked, blended with butter and seasonings. And their latest variety is sardine, potted sardine and tomato, made from sardines, beautifully blended with tomato. I think it's one of the most perfect spreads I've ever tasted. I like both these varieties on hot toast. Then there's crab and salmon spread with butter. I like these on brown bread with lettuce and sliced cucumber. Sutherland's produce minced chicken and minced turkey. Now here again, nothing but chicken and turkey goes in. There's no mystery about Sutherland spreads. The best ingredients make the best spreads. Simple as that. Now, stand number seven. Number seven at the National Food Exhibition in Cardiff. You can try all these products there, and if you can't get to the exhibition, well, buy some from the grocer. They've all got stocks. So much for the savouries. Now, what about the sweet tooth? After all, no real tea is complete without a good sweet biscuit. And I feel I must tell you about these marvellous biscuits, even though they haven't got a stand in the show. Chocolate Vienna biscuits, made by McFarlane Lang, are not just another sweet biscuit. They're in the same class as top-flight confectionery. You know, the kind of thing that you'd only expect to find in one of those expensive-looking shops on the continent. In other words, they're sheer luxury. You want to keep them under lock and key. Now, McFarlane Lang have been making biscuits for 140 years, and their secret is the same as the secret of any other good cook. Choose the finest, the best ingredients, blend, mix, and bake them with skill and care. And that's what makes chocolate Vienna biscuits what they are. I think they're a must at, at all times. I mean, for instance, in the morning, when you feel like a cup of tea, and indeed no afternoon tea is complete without McFarlane Lang chocolate Vienna biscuits. You can get them with a coating either of milk chocolate or plain chocolate, and they cost Two and threepence a packet. 
but there's so much variety, such magnificent food being shown in this exhibition that really you don't know where to go next. Ah, well, I've just spotted a very popular food. Yeah. Yes, it's an old friend, a very old friend, Heinz Baked Beans. Goodness me, I must have polished off tons of these when I was a hungry schoolboy. Still do, for that matter. Ah, Jochen Wald. What price are you here, Mr. Hmm, you know, I often wonder what magic Heinz used to make this tomato sauce so good. And the beans, so plump and full, never mushy. That's a, a special Heinz secret. That's why no other beans really quite measure up. Just have to be Heinz. You know, I believe one could use these beans more adventurously than just on toast for tea time. I mean, one could put them on top of hamburgers, or in a stew, or in a casserole with bacon and onions and, and, and grated cheese. There are dozens of ways in which these beans can make main dishes more interesting and more nutritious. Mmm, that wonderful Heinz flavour. Never, never get tired of it. No wonder youngsters love it. Don't yours? Heinz baked beans. Quality is something that we expect and demand in all the foods that we buy. And nowhere is this more important than in dairy foods. And nowhere will you find fresher, purer dairy foods than at the Unigate stand. Look here. Everybody knows this famous name, Wilts Regal Milk. And this, too, is an Ival Buttered Cheese Spread. And this, Cowan Gate Farmer's Wife Double Devon Cream. Now, all are Unigate products. Because Unigate is Wilts United Dairies and St. Ivor and Cowan Gate joined together to give you the finest quality in dairy foods. And here is Unigate Ready Mix, the ice cream which you make yourself. For the basic Ready Mix recipe, all you need is water to mix it, then you whisk it, then you pour it into an ice tray, and then you pop it into the freezing compartment of the fridge. And in less than two hours, it comes out like this. Creamy, smooth, and delicious. Mmm, it is too. It's so simple, even a child could do it. Of course, you can make all sorts of special treats with Ready Mix. In fact, you'll find some lots of ideas in this clever little leaflet. But you must come and see for yourself the full range of delicious Unigate products on Stand 21. And try some of them too. Well, it's time to go now, I'm afraid, and I must say, I've enjoyed myself like mad at this exhibition. All I can say is, I hope you enjoy yourselves as much as I have. Goodbye. <laughs>